As you've probably seen on YouTube, Mr. McCullum and Mr. Moran and other channels have uploaded videos regarding the correct or incorrect portrayal of a Bren being used as essentially a marksman rifle and putting down his scoped Enfield. I'm not going to cover what they have already covered. I want to cover another theory, the human one. I thought I would give a small argument with some of my opinions and experience thrown in. I do think the part that makes the pill hard to swallow is the fact he chooses the Bren with a single round over his scoped rifle. I think that was simply artistic license to draw your attention to it being an important moment. Remember, he has already been using the Enfield, so this would seem to just be another shot. Another quick mention here is training. You learn the characteristics of the weapon you use, including it being an open bolt. A highly proficient shooter would know to aim off for how it reacted. Now, from personal experience, past three to 400 meters, natural factors come into play. I personally would waste a round and look for the splash and adjust accordingly. It is better to waste one round than several and still not know. The round will be affected by wind and even heat rising, which in this scenario are big factors. It's open ground in a hot country, open ground offering no protection from the wind and the heat can make a round fly high. However, the movie has already emphasised the importance of this shot and how their siege could rest upon it. An Enfield is a single shot weapon, and as you see in the movie, the man is standing just in front of hard cover. So if you missed with the Enfield, he could quite easily hide behind that building, and your opportunity has gone. This is where I can see the human element. Imagine the doubt going through his mind. Remember to ignore the dramatic single loading of a round, what if I missed? It would take several seconds to reload an Enfield and lay it on the target again if he did miss. But the Bren on automatic could simply be held in the aim and a volley of rounds sent in one continuous stream. Another factor I would consider is would he then start moving? Hitting a moving target at that range would be luck even on semi-automatic. Ian mentions the Bren is capable of getting a 30 cm group at 300 yards with a 10 round burst. For anyone who hasn't fired an automatic weapon, that is an amazing group for something without a scope. For context, this is a 30 cm plate. No one would get up from that. So we've gone over the oddities of the scene, now let me put a modern spin on it. I have served with both the SA-80 assault rifle and the L-86 support weapon. It is essentially the same rifle but with a longer barrel, a bipod and a handle to the rear to control the rifle. It is essentially a modern Bren gun but with a 4 times optic and the magazine is on the bottom. And ok it fires from a closed bolt but let's not nitpick. The L-86 was insanely accurate so technically it failed in its role of being a support weapon exactly the same as the Bren did. You would have to purposely be inaccurate if you wanted to achieve a beaten zone or cone of fire. So from that perspective I can totally see why the Bren may have been used.